Hi, my beautiful kings and queens. Welcome back to my channel. So kings and queens, um, I am back with another video today. Um, and before I get started, uh, I just want to ask you all to please watch the full video. I'm trying to reach 4,000 watch hours on here. So yeah, I just ask that you watch the full video and don't skip over anything because I really do put a lot of time and effort into these videos and it's not easy to record. Like sometimes it takes me like five, five tries to get it right. So um, yeah, I just ask that you all watch the full video. But anywho, I'm just going to go ahead and jump straight into today's word. So I'm going to be reading from Joshua 1 verse 5. And it says, no one will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. It says, as I was with Moses, so will I be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. God says that he will never leave you nor will he forsake you. Just as, just as if he was with Moses, he's going to be with you. Even though you are going through that thing, even though you feel as though you are alone, God is saying that you are never alone. He says that he is with you through all of your trials and tribulations. He says for that thing, that thing that you are going through, it's only making you stronger. God gave Moses the strength to lead the people out of out of captivity. So just as though God gave Moses that strength, God is saying that he has that same strength to give you. Kings and queens, we can't we can't afford to give up in this season. We can't afford to to throw the towel in. We can't afford to to downplay our destiny. For God says that there's a calling on your life. God is saying that he is renewing your strength. He says that you are about to mount up with wings like an eagle. God is saying that you are that lion. You are that one, you are that generational curse breaker. So in this season, kings and queens, we cannot afford to give up. If Moses, if Moses, if Moses didn't believe in himself, and if he would have given up, the people would have still been in captivity. The people still would have been slaves. But Moses led the people, and when Moses felt as though he was not worthy of of doing so, God parted the Red Sea for Moses so that they can make it through. God is saying that when you come up to that obstacle, God is saying that you are going to face some obstacles. You are going to face some some tribulations. But God is saying when you come up against that thing, he says that is when he's going to do something. That is when he's going to show you who he is. That is when he is going to lead you out of that out of that dark place. So kings and queens, don't be afraid to take risks. Don't be afraid to take chances in this season. God is saying that he has given you all the tools you need. He has given you everything you need. Moses, God gave Moses the rod. The rod turned into a serpent because Moses was scared. God told Moses, he said, put down the rod and he's in the, and the rod turned into a serpent because Moses didn't believe in himself. But God is saying in this season, you must believe, you must believe that you are worthy of your purpose. You are worthy to receive that thing in this season, kings and queens. So I want to challenge you all. Please tap into your purpose. God says that he will never forsake you, nor will he leave you. God is with you every step of the way. Every morning you wake up and you give God the glory, he is with you. Even when you are sleeping, God says that he has his, he says that he has his shield of protection around you even when your eyes are closed. Even when you don't even see the enemy attacking, God is saying that he is still protecting you. Even when you don't see your friends being deceitful behind your back, God is saying that he is still protecting you. Even when you don't see that man or that woman cheating on you or doing whatever they do not supposed to be doing. God is saying that even in that place, he is still with you. God has given you the signs. He has given you the warnings. He has get, He has shown you who your true people are. He has shown you who the people are that are in your circle. So God is saying in this season, he said that you must tap into that very thing. You must tap into who you are in this season, kings and queens. Never give up on God because God will never give up on you. He says no one will be able to stand against you. No devil in hell, no person on this earth can stand against God. God is who he is. So no one, God says, no one will be able to stand uh, up against you. 
No serpent, no enemy, no adversary can stand up against God because God has his shield of protection over you. God is saying that you are shielded by his protection. He says that you are covered. He says that you're anointing your body, your soul is covered by him. He says that, that you must, he says you must rebuke the enemy and the enemy shall flee from you because you have God's protection. Just as Job, the enemy attacked Job and took everything that Job had, everything that Job love the enemy took from him his children his wife his land his stock everything and God said God said test that spirit and he says that my servant Job will never forsake me my servant Job will never turn against me and Job did just that. Job never cursed God's name because Job knew that there was a there was more to him than those things, even though that was his family. Job knew that his family belonged to God. Everything you have belongs to God. Your children belong to God. Your house, your your car, everything that you be everything that you own belongs to God. So God is saying, even if he takes everything from you, are you still going to serve him? Even when you are going through that that thing and you are on your last dime, will you still serve him? So God is saying that he is he says that he, nothing can come against you but him. So sometimes when you go through those things, sometimes it's not always the enemy. Sometimes Sometimes it's God testing your spirit. Sometimes it's God testing you to see as though if you're still going to be faithful. See as though you're still going to be faithful to his name and you're not going to curse him. So sometimes you are going through that thing so that you be so that you can become a better version of you. God is saying that he's sometimes he's going to test your spirit. Everything is not from the enemy. Even some even when the enemy tests you, he still has to go through God. So everything is a test. Life is a learning lesson. And God is saying in this season that he's not going to forsake you. He will never forsake you. And he says no enemy can stand up against him because, because he is God. And he says that your shield, he says that his shield is up against you. And you will never be defeated by the enemy because you have God on your side. So kings and queens, I love you all so much. And as I always say, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will be seeing you all in tomorrow's video. Bye, my kings and queens.